guys. So I am in Joshua Tree um, National Park. I'm camping in a campground. I was gonna find some free land to camp on, but I just decided I would stay in the park and then I can drive through the park. We're staying at two different campsites while I'm here in Joshua Tree. Right now, I just got here and I'm trying to live off the van. So leveling is so important so that you can sleep properly, so that your refrigerator is sitting right and oh, everything is so sloped here. But I did the best I could. And um, at least I won't be like leaning where I might roll off the bed. I um, needed a break from the whole political scene of the elections. So kind of hiding out here. And um, yeah, I'll be, I'm on a week long trip. So you saw the last video, you saw that I was in Malibu. I spent a couple of days in Malibu with friends. And now I'm in the desert alone in Parker and I'm just chilling. I'm gonna to try to catch up on some work as far as my YouTube videos and um, yeah, just relax. So this is my breakfast. Thank goodness for Halloween because the goodies that they give after Halloween. <laughs> so this is my breakfast. I'm just going to hang out in the van for a little bit. Um, and I'll probably go later on in the afternoon once it cools down. Even though it's not too warm here, it's in the high 70s. But I'm going to wait until this afternoon and take a walk. So I may work on some videos or watch some YouTube and take it out until then. So see you guys soon. Okay, it's time for me to get my ass up. Look at how messy the kitchen is. Because I'm just been throwing things around. But it's time for me to eat something. I think I'm going to have a burger. Because the burger I had at Malibu Beach was like super supreme. So I think that is what is for dinner today. I also have some hash browns that I got um, at IHOP yesterday. So those will be my french fries. Let's get started. I got to get all this stuff clean first. And then I'll head out side. This is starting to get dark now. I have to go. Gotta get my food pepper, which is here. Really get there. Come up my chair. And some of you are asking in your cells right now. Angie, why aren't you cooking on your oven? The question, the answer to that is because I am super, super lazy and I don't want to have to, I don't want to heat up the van too much because um, it's not very cool out here, so that's why. A handy dandy cast. Also, while I'm here, I want to reach in and grab my. I have like these little light thingies. I'm gonna grab those as well. And they are. Stay here. Just trying to 
<laughs> Guys, I have way too much camp stuff. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. But I have these lights. And I've got batteries so that I can use them inside. So I'm going to put the batteries in there. I've got those. And I'm ready now. So, okay. so I'm back at it with the burgers. I got all this stuff here. Got everything out there. Got this water. I'm going to boil some water so that I can wash my dishes with it. And I like these. I know these um, Morning Star ones are full of um, like preservatives, but I just like the way they taste. And then I'm going to heat up my hash browns. Condiments, got everything ready. Put it on the grills, grill time. Sometimes leftovers come in handy. Ooh, look at those. And this, my burger, is all ready to be eaten. Ooh. Alright, so I brought my little portable sink out. I don't feel like washing inside of it, so I put the hot water um, and mix it with some cold water. I'm washing my dishes out here. I will rinse them out in the van and then just make my cleanup a little a lot. So this is the um, soap that I use. It's biodegradable. I like it a lot. It's definitely good for um, van life. Alright, so my day was kind of short and I haven't done anything at all. I'm heading up to go drop my stuff in the trash and dump my pee bottle and use the bathroom so I can come and get back in the van. This is a pretty cool campsite. The, the sites are kind of close together, but it's okay. It was really pretty. I can't wait to hike tomorrow. There's a trail that's right near here somewhere. So this is the road I'm not far from the trash cans. I'm not far from the hiking trail, so it makes it a beautiful sight. And they say they have coyotes out here. I haven't come across a coyote like I've only heard them in the distance every time I go camping. It'd be kind of nice. They say they wander into the campsites, they're looking for people who didn't put their food away. They would be mad at my campsite because I only have vegetables there. But um, I thought I saw something moving in the hills. I get so excited when I know that there's wildlife around. It was good to get away. This place is very beautiful. It makes you just kind of like think.
I love these Joshua trees. They're so cool looking. They're like scary looking palm trees. <laughs> I've only seen um, coyote, coyote poop and I did see a prairie dog run across the trail but I'm just taking a short walk before I head to the next location. Something about nature just calms my soul. It's the perfect release of stress and frustrations and just somehow being here and it's quiet it's very spiritual you know and the trees are different than what I'm used to but hey that is what it is it's still very peaceful. It always makes me wonder what these lands were like hundreds of years ago. When wildlife was actually free and we weren't taking over lands that people consider to be very sacred to themselves. I truly understand how the Native Americans felt because this place is very spiritual, very, it's mentally calming and man, if I could, I would live on these lands, <laughs> but I am grateful just to even be able to take little pieces of it with me on my journeys and share those um, pieces with you. you, you.